Okay, this is my new video or podcast. Uh, this is my new, uh, whatever, audio movies podcast. And basically, oh, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. It's a movie starring Will Smith. I, and I don't tell the title of the movie. It's an older movie. And, uh, yeah. So what I do is I describe a movie while I'm watching it. And I just one take, whatever, I screw up. I miss some stuff, so I'm sorry. But that's just the way it goes. Because I'm talking about what's happening, and then I miss what's what just happened. And I miss part of it while I'm... Yeah, anyways. 20th Century Fox production company yeah sorry if I miss stuff trying to explain something and something else is happening 20th Century Fox presents a Centropolis Entertainment production and then it gives the title but I don't give the title I don't give the title of the movie. You just you just watch. You'll figure it out. July second, is, and then boom. There's somebody. It's showing the flag on the on the moon, the American flag, and there's music. And it's a, like I said, a shot of the moon. July second. I don't know why I said July second. Then it goes down, pans down, and it says here, here men from the planet Earth footstep. First set foot upon the moon, July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind. And it has a bunch of signatures of uh, all the astronauts. It's like a little plaque that they put on this, on the uh, moon. I didn't know they did that. Or Armstrong, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, Edwin Eld Aldrin, Aldrin Jr. And then they're showing footsteps, the footsteps of the the astronauts and it's shaking and it covers the footprints go away now there's something there's sun on the moon but it's being shaded by a something and there's a shade going all across the moon now it's dark it's not totally dark but it's dark and now they show, show a shot from the moon and showing planet earth the globe And then it shows a spaceship. It's a science fiction movie, just so you know. And they're showing the underbelly of a ship flying towards Earth. And it looks big. And then it shows the satellites on Earth, a bunch of them in a row. It's called an array, a satellite array. And then it's showing SETI, New Mexico's Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute. And the guy's fooling around playing golf on a little, like, thing, practicing putting. An alarm goes off. It's an Asian guy. He's, he's young. There's an alarm going off, a red light. And the guy runs to the screen, turns it off, turns off the alarm, and looks. He starts hurrying up to the telephone, and he calls somebody. And the guy picks it up. If this is not an insanely wom uh, incredible looking woman, I'm hanging up. And then the guy says, you should listen to this. He puts the phone up, up to the machine and he bangs his head. The man that picked up the phone. Sir, it's, it's an older man and a younger man. So the older man, he's bald. This better not be another Russian spy. It's a real thing. The Asian, young Asian guy. A signal from another world. Let's not jump the gun here. Call Space Command, they'll want to know about it. Can't be right. Calculate distance from the source. So, so many thousand kilometers. It's coming from the moon. And then they listen to the beeping sounds again. And they go to fade to black. And then it's white. And it shows a statue of the American uh, in D.C. They got found a signal. They're more concerned than we are. These There's Pentagon. Space Command, the Pentagon. These two generals, well, 
major. Radar reception has been impaired. Five hundred and fifty kilometer radius or diameter. What the hell is it? Meteor? Not a meteor, definitely not. How do you know? It's slowing down. It's what? It's it's slowing down, sir. He looks he's a general, I guess. He gets on the phone. The general. Let's get the secretary of defense. Wake him. Wake him up. So there's a phone and he picks it up and he goes, I guess it's the secretary. No. Oh, that's, I've seen the movie before. He's the president. He's talking to his wife, I guess. He has a confession to make. I'm sitting, sleeping next to a beautiful young girl. You better not be watching TV. You're coming home, back home after lunch. It's her daughter. Her, he, she, she, he was sleeping next to his daughter. He was talking to his wife. They're talking. And then there's some TV show. I forget what the show is called. Political show. So the guy gets his robe on. Daddy let me watch Letterman. <laughs> says to his mother she says to her mother Mr. President he's the president he's walking the halls you're up awfully early this morning they're not attacking your policy they're attacking your age I don't know it's talking crap they're having breakfast. You were thought of young. The message has gotten lost. Too much policy, politics. Isn't it amazing? Everyone can turn it in against you. Mr. President, Secretary of Defense. He, he goes, okay. He picks it up the phone. He's like, yes. Can you say that again? And then they show a shot of space and there's a satellite in orbit. And it's flying into the spaceship, the alien spaceship. The alien spaceship is getting in the way of the satellite. And it's going and the satellite's really small compared to the ship. Then boom, the, the satellite runs in and blows up. And now they're showing the Statue of Liberty. And then they show a park, I guess it's Central Park, and some old men playing chess. Then they show a guy playing chess. What? He's taking too long. He's thinking. Think already, he says. He moves his pawn up. Then he moves his pawn up. And he's drinking out of a cup. He's You know how long that cup takes to decompose? And he goes, I'm going to decompose because the guy's taking too long to make moves. David, his name is. It's nice that you see me. Oh, it's a dad, his dad. It's been four, four years and you're still wearing the wedding band? And he says three. You're divorced. Come on, move on. Smoking is not helping. The old man is smoking a cigar. He takes, the queen takes his his pawn and he says checkmate. And he gets up. Nope, this is not checkmate. He gives him a kiss on the cheek and he walks away on his, well, he gets on his bike. This is not checkmate. It's not checkmate. They got everybody, now it's back on these, they're, frenz, they're frenzied. Everybody's frenzied. David, what if why do you have a beeper and you can't turn it on if it's not turned on? What's the emergency? Everybody static, snow, distortion, it's a TV. 
He's, he wants to recycle. They're not recycling. He's getting mad, David. David, he puts his... Do you change transponders? You think it was that simple? Something simple? It's not like they're even there. And then he looks at a paper, David. Then he looks and he's like, what? I guess he's a... This is impossible. He's, and then they show an old plan of the signals all screwed up these these guys are you know like these this uh imperial valley california it's like a trailer park and there's a guy in a truck there's two kids three kids two boys and a girl and then the older man comes over and he shows some vegetables i got a whole Oh, if your father isn't over there, then I'm getting someone else. Now they're showing a plane flying around. And there's a guy on a really old motorbike. Not really old, but a small motorbike. And there's a plane. And the guy's like, yeah, waving at him. And he's flying. Whoa. He's like, uh, he's on a biplane. He's flying his biplane around. And he's having, and he's throwing out. Oh, now he's. He's putting gas, like, what do you call that? When they um, use planes and they put pesticides on the, and now he's landing. He's putting pesticides on a field. That's his job, I guess. That's why the other guy was getting mad. And so his son comes over. What the hell are you doing? He's drunk. He's drunk. It's a wrong field, you idiot. It's on the other side of town. He looks. Are you sure? And he drives away on his little motorbike. It's almost, it's a really small motorbike. And then these people speak Spanish that he landed on. And then he drinks down some scotch from a Mickey. Now they're showing um, the spaceship, the alien spaceship, and it's detaching. Something detaching, it looks like. And there are the discs that are sm smaller spaceships. There's like, I don't know, two, four, six, eight, eight of them. Now back to the, the White House. And then this, there's the vice president, I think, or something. I don't know what they're talking about. Satellites are unreliable. Maybe this thing will pass us by. It doesn't pass us by. Get some CBMs to blow it out of the sky. We don't know, know enough yet. We can't make a judgment. The press is making their own point, their own stories at this point. We need, we need to go to DEFCON 3 maybe. You didn't think that's premature? 50% of the... Oh, there's some uh, military guys coming over. The object is in a stationary position. Part of it has broken off to a bunch of pieces. 15 miles in width themselves. They're big ones. That are... Where are they heading? They're in our atmosphere in the next 25 minutes. Then they're in a field, North Desert, Iraq, Iraq, Northern Desert. There's these young boys and girls running. It's nighttime. It's not night, truly night. The clouds are building and they're all running, the, the civilians. Now they're showing the Georgia USS Georgia, SB, SSBN, the submarine. They're in a submarine, and the general, uh, the captain of the radar blackout. Diagnostic check. The radar, maybe, the radar is malfunctioning, but the radar, the infrared is working. 
And they show the huge band, this huge thing. He gets on the phone. Get me command on the line. Now they're back at command. Over Iraqi. Second sighting. Just came in from the Persian Gulf. Two confirmed visuals. One off the California coastline. Put the TV on. They all go to the TV. Special report. It's it's faulty. It's not working that well. Undisplayed disturbance. How do you describe it? It's like a mass panic in Russia. Thousands have taken to the streets. It's headed for Moscow. AWAC off the west coast. Three point something minutes. Radar doesn't see it. Nothing is registering. Zero visibility. There's a pl plane in the clouds. Pacific coastline, California. Zero visibility. Instrumentation is malfunctioning. We can't get any reading. Wait, wait a minute. Something's clearing. They're on a... Oh, there's a fireball. Pull up, pull up. Oh, they're going into a fireball and then boom, they, the windows blow out. Fire goes right through the cabin. And they're lost. There are other people in in Washington. They're like, they're gone. Two more in Atlantic. One's moving to New York. How much time do we have? Ten, less than 10 minutes. We should move the president to a secure location. We can discuss this on the way. I'm not leaving, the, uh, the president said. We need to ma maintain a working government. Take the joint chief of, chief of staff, and I don't want to. I don't want to start a panic or whatever. Uh, turn on the emergency broadcast system and don't tell them not to panic. The civilians. They're going to NORAD the other people, and then the general says, "I want to be by your side to the president." I had a feeling you would. What happens if they do become hostile? Then God help us, the president says. They can't tell. The people, the civilians can't tell that it's an alien because there's clouds. The alien ship is covered in clouds with clouds. So this David sees this numbers, sees his computer uh, readout, and there are a bunch of numbers. Lock on the pattern of the signal. It's going to be gone in seven hours. Then it recycles. It's going to disappear. Are you listening? Can you believe this? David, haven't you been watching? David? The White House press. The phenomenon has not had caused any damage. The vice president is saying this. I, I assume she's the vice president. David, positioned in the American cities. Two on the eastern seaboard. And Washington, D.C. The building has an old bomb shelter. We're heading out there. The The news, news reporter, news uh, network headquarters. Everybody's heading to the basement. There's no shame in hiding. I gotta call my mother, she, the guy says. And then it shows another screen. This old, old car. Oh, it shows the guy that was flying the plane. He's drinking coffee. In a cafe. Look at what we have here. Some guys. You, see, you, had, you dusted the wrong field. 
you're probably still confused. Hostage experience. Is that, that what happened to you? Yeah. He was kidnapped by aliens. They did experiments on him. You put a couple beers in him and, and he'll tell you all about it. They're all laughing at him. When they took you up in the spaceship, did they do any sexual things to you that you recollect? And he's all drunk and he's like, he walked, he didn't even say a word to him. He just walks away. And the, the building starts shaking. The building starts shaking. And Randy, or I forget his name. He's looking. And there's a shadow covering the, the area. And the building is shaking. The, the boy and two boys and a girl. They're living in a, in a trailer park in a, in a movable, what do you call that? A, a, a RV. Okay, Hollywood. There's something covering up Hollywood too. Ren over Hollywood. A huge shadow. Then this young boy and their mother is getting up. It's too early. The young boy shuts the door. And if, oh, Will Smith. Earthquake, he says. It's not even a four pointer. Four, four pointer. So go back to sleep. So this, and now we're in, at Washington and the huge shadow is covering up Washington. Slowly covering up Washington. Oh, the young girl. Daddy, daddy. It's the president's young girl. Uh, yeah. You should be down at the shelter. And it's covering up the ship. It's covering, covering up the sun from the Washington, D.C. And then New York. The Statue of Liberty and New York uh, skyline is being covered up in shadow. Now there's some kids playing basketball. And their cars are banging into each other because they're stopping in the middle of the road. Everybody's going to, they're at the news sta center, news station, and they're all going into the the bomb shelter. Now they're in, it shows uh, the, what's that park called? Central Park. And now the shadows reveal a ship. It, it was just all clouds. Clouds were covering up, but now the ship sh shows through the clouds. And all these people are looking at them, uh, like up in the sky, amazed. It's a huge spaceship. It's over the Hudson. So they're all looking up like, whoa, what's up? With their, ma their jaws open. And slowly it's coming over New York. People are running. And then uh, the guy, what was his name? Todd? He looks and he sees. He's on the roof of the building of the news news uh, station. Police car stops in the middle of the road. And boom, these cabs and cars are all banging into the back. And then the car gets hit by a armored truck. The police officer's car. And this huge spaceship is covering up New York. And all the people are running now. Hovering, and then uh, the he says he knows the signal. He sees the signal. My God. He runs back. I guess he's running back inside. It's right over the Empire State Building, and it's right over the White House. They show, and the president's looking up with the vice president beside him, looking up at the ship. Now what do we do? The vice president says, "Address the nation." There's going to be a lot of frightened people out there. I'm one of them, the vice president says. A dog comes and he's chewing his shoe. He's getting out of bed. And then 
He goes into the kitchen. No. The bathroom. He's peeing. And there's... The neighbors are... Movies are moving out. I guess they got all tired about all these quakes. It's shaking and we're running. They're running. Start shaking and they're running. There's something about the, in the news about the quake. They think it's an earthquake. Shooting a young boy. I guess it's his son. What are you doing outside? He goes, shooting aliens. Okay, they kiss. The, the wife. I'll grab the paper. He bang, he's going out. He's outside. He bangs his, hits his toe on a to, children's toy. And he opens up the paper. And he's reading the paper. And then he looks around. And he's like looking. And all the neighbors are filling their cars with luggage. Then he looks over to his left. First he looked right. And then he looked left. Then he looks up and he sees a helicopter. No, there's a helicopter. And then he sees a spaceship and he's like, whoa. Babe, you want some coffee? The husband, the wife. And like, she's like freaked out. And then the little boy has an alien, has a guy and says, boom, boom, boom. Todd or whatever his name is. He's running through the TV station and everybody's in the bunker. The one guy's talking to his mother under the desk. What? Get the president? Why did I send my mother to Atlanta? David. There's something hidden in the satellite feed. Countdown. A countdown? A countdown to what, David? It's like in chess. It's just strategically position your pieces. And then the time to strike. They're positioning themselves all over the world. Synchronized in six hours. The single's gonna disappear and then what? Checkmate. Six hours they got. Oh my god, he's getting Oh I gotta call my brother. Gotta call my housekeeper. Have to call my lawyer. Forget my lawyer. The president's talking. My fellow Americans. A historic and unprecedented event has, has occurred. Question if or alone in the universe has been answered. Fear. Oh, this, the vice president gets a call and says, it's your husband. What do you want? You got to leave the White House. It's that guy. You got to leave Washington. We're having a crisis here. They were hidden. They're communicating with a hidden signal. David. Oh, he gets hung up. She, the... Ex-wife hangs up on her. He's the ex-husband of the vice president. What was his name, David? They will remain in the White House, the president and the vice president. If you feel to compel to leave, then please do so in an orderly fashion. Then it shows mayhem. And uh, David, or what his name is, I don't know what his name is. The guy, the electronics guy... He's riding a bike, which is good because there's too much traffic. They're all banged into each other, the cars. But he's riding his bike, so he gets through the traffic. And then he has to report, you were on leave. They canceled leave. Will Smith. Why are you acting this way? Why? And she goes, that's why there's an alien ship. He walks over to her. Look. 
I don't think they moved. They flew 90 million billion light years to start a fight. Just relax. I'm going to go to wherever and find out what's going on. He's a military guy, Will Smith. His son's in the car. Oh, he got some gifts for the young boy. Pulls the boy out of the... You take care of yourself. Look, uh, get some things, pack up, and come with me to the base. You'll see there's nothing to be scared about. Really, she says? She's smiling. You don't mind? Well, I'll have to uh, let my other girlfriends know. I have to both bones some freaky freaky you're not as charming as you think you are sir yes I am he says oh, I don't know what they said okay they kiss a little bit now they show a dark New York City and there's looting Oh, everybody's moving their stuff out. They're filling their cars up. And he's running to the house. His father's house. Looting already. Vultures. You still have the Plymouth? You want to borrow the car? You're driving. I'm driving. The old man's driving. I guess he does. President. Talking to his wife. He shouldn't be in Washington or wherever he is. I don't watch in any of those cities. When the interviews are done, I'll leave. There's a helicopter waiting. The Munchkin? All right. I love you. I love you. I assume that's the wife. Bye bye. And the daughter's with the president. She's the daughter's like eight years old. You know you can't just, now it's back to David or what his name is. They're driving the Plymouth. They're the president. They know everything. You can't just drive up and ring the bell. Are you so smart? You went to MIT to be a cable repairman. There's people that handle this kind of thing. If they want HBO, they'll call you. Vultures. They take it and then they go. We're in the fast lane. Let's go. He, He's cutting me off. I can't go any faster. I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. Let's just get there. As quickly as possible. You go to Washington and they won't be there? And then he looks. They look at each other. Uh oh. Everybody's leaving. They're in the trailer park again. Oh. His father is on the... <laughs> they put experiments on me they're exploring our weaknesses they're going to kill us all and he's getting into the police car the The sons are watching his father he was a pilot in Vietnam what? really quiet they're interviewing his friends said an aliens abused him sexually He's in the lockup, the drunk guy that flies a biplane. His young, what about dad? Oh, the young girl with the boyfriend. You don't want to die a virgin. They start kissing. The older brother comes. He goes, come on, I'm not going anywhere. She, He grabs her, his sister. And... Get as far as away from this, these things as you can. They're driving their RV. And it's the father, the drunk biplane guy. They let you out? They got bigger fish, fish to fry now, so let's go, boy. Oh, they're watching the TV. The military guys. Okay, Will Smith. 
Don't we have something better to do with our time, gentlemen? This is huge. The mail, he has a mail slot from NASA. Captain Sil Stephen Miller. His uh, pilot mate w opens the letter. Captain St Stephen Mills, United States. We regret to inform you. Despite your excellent record, I'm sorry. Oh, NASA. He wants. He wants to become a NASA astronaut. You gotta kiss some ass, his friend says. Oh, it's a ring fell out of his pocket. Oh, well, it's not his wife, it was his girlfriend. And she... <laughs> it, I thought you were going to break the whole thing off. You know, I really like Jasmine. You're never going to be able to fly the space shuttle if you marry a stripper. Oh, she's a stripper. <laughs> she's, she's stripping, like she's dancing on a pole dancing with lingerie on and they're all watching the TV. I hope they bring back Elvis, the one of the people on the news. Party event of the century. Everyone's invited. This is so cool, the girl says. One of the strippers. Welcome, make yourself at home. She has a sign. I don't, you're not going to join. I'm going to join them as soon as I get off. Tiffany, listen. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't want you to go. I promise you, you won't. Come, as promise me. I promise, she says. Okay. I'm out of town for a while. Okay, then the car, the David, or he's heading towards Washington, and the whole everybody's trying to get out, and he's getting in with the there's. Totally empty. He's working on his laptop. Every phone book in America. He's like a hacker. Portable phone is listed. She's trying to he's trying to find his ex-wife's phone number. There's a bunch of protesters. And he's trying he they made it to Washington, the White House. Uh David or whatever his name is. The technician guy. He's on the phone. The phone is busy. She's using it. It's busy. I can use her signal. Tri triangulate her exact position. You can do that? All cable repairman can. The president, the vice president's on the phone. They're all watching TV. Oh, he, the vice president, David, he got her number. Walk to the window. And what I'm looking for. She's looking out. And they're waving. They're outside. The White House. How does he do that? David. Now there's a military filling up their helicopter. Inability to communicate. They retrofitted the the helicopter. They're trying to make contact with a, a military helicopter with like audio. Oh, and the president's watching this on the screen. Oh, they have a bunch of lights on the sides of this helicopter. Welcome wagon is in the air. It's it's a it's a it's a transport helicopter. It's not a it's for it's not a it's not a human helicopter well now David is talking to his ex-wife in the in the White House they got in 
I don't know how happy he's going to be. The president can see him. He's not going to listen to me. We should go. Last time I saw him, we got into a fight. You punched him. You punched the president? We wrestled around a bit. You started. You thought I was having an affair. Go get him or we should head back. Wait here. Just don't touch anything. You punched the president? Oh. Now the helicopter is heading to the the ship in the the alien ship with two helicopter escorts closing in. They think that they're in the front. They're showing the front. The president is moving away is away from his desk. And then they see and he see I don't have time with it. The president sees David and says, I have no time with this. His father, I told you he wouldn't listen. Let's go, he says. David, tell him. Um, I know why we have satellite disruption. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Here He makes a little diagram of Earth and two spaceships on each side. You can't send a direct signal. The earth is in the way. Line of sight. Line of sight, right, exactly. Satellites to relay the signal. I found a signal inside our own satellite system. The president, we're starting. He's like, okay, fine. They're using our own satellites against us. And there's a, there's a countdown, 27 hours, 27 minutes. The clock is ticking, 27 minutes it said on his computer. Okay, now back to the helicopters trying to make contact to the alien ship. Uh, initiating communication sequence. Welcome wagon has commenced and they have these lights blinking. Blinking lights going up and down and side to side. Evacuate as many cities, the president says, and many people out of the city. Bring back the welcome bag. Kim, my daughter. There's something happening. Something opening. The helicopters are... They're responding. The president sees it. And they're, there's a light coming out. There's some kind of activity. Some kind of response echo one. Please identify it. The light. Boom! And the helicopter gets blown up. And then the two helicopters that escorted the three helicopters got blown to bits. And now they're evacuating. Evacuating the White House. Everybody's out the front door. And there's there's the the helicopter, America's uh Air Force One helicopter. And David and the father is in the thing with them. They got their own phone. Nine minutes. They're flying the helicopter with the president in it. They're evacuating. The The wife of the president is evacuating too. God help us all, the TV says. They're all trying to, all the cars are trying to get out of the city. Who is this? They're showing somebody. Oh, the Will Smith's girlfriend. Girlfriend, she's in, in traffic. Now they're on top of the building with all the people saying there's a all these civilians that are saying we're happy to see the aliens. And there's a, oh, the young girl at the strip club, she decided to go. I mean, that she, so she said she wasn't going to go. And they're like, please take me away. And they're all happy. Oh, the aliens are happy. And they have like costumes on. And then it shows the cars all backed up. All the cars. Now the the president's wife is getting evacuated in a helicopter. Los Angeles. 
welcome alien welcome sign. It's on one of the rooftop helicopter pads. And they're saying, please leave. And they're like, no way. Over the PA of the helicopter, they're saying, please leave. We're on the move, they said, the, vice, the president's wife. They're in the helicopter, flying away. They're starting to fly away. And the thing starts, the alien ship starts to heat up and starts opening up a bit. And sh there's lights, like a green glow. It's opening. It's so pretty, the girl says. They're all looking up. It's like I don't know, in LA somewhere. They're looking. These civilians are looking up. They're all stuck in traffic, so they're not going anywhere. I don't know what kind of building this is. Some high rise. Now there's the Empire State Building they're showing. They're all looking up. It's opening wider and wider the the bottom of the thing. Let's get out of here. Oh in Washington it's opening up too. And the president is out. They've landed. But the ship is still close. Now they're going on Air Force One, the this plane, not the helicopter. She has the president has his his daughter and the vice president's there. And the vice and then David and the, the ex husband and his dad. And he has the computer. One second, zero seconds, zero, zero, zero. It's all zero zero. Time's up, he says, David says. And everything starts the alien ship starts grabbing energy, starts electrifying itself, and then boom, it shoots down a huge and the whole building the sky rise, the high rise gets blown to bits. And now everybody's running away from their cars and the fire from the, the blown up building is destroying buildings beside it. They're all running, they're all running. Cars are flying from the sky because they've been pushed into the sky and falling on other cars. And then the Empire State Building, boom, it gets blown up. That must have been in LA, the first one. Boom, and then they all start running. And then the guy that was friends with David, our coworker, he's in his car. He goes, oh crap, he's dead. And the cars are going flying. And then the White House gets blown up but the, and the helicopter it's just flying away. Oh, the helicopter gets blown up. Fire is just getting getting pushed all the way through the city and destroying buildings as it goes. Buildings are blowing up like crazy. Cars are flying in the air. People are flying in the air. A huge perimeter of blown up buildings. It's like a firebomb. Cars are going flinging. And then the, the White House. Oh, the White House is now demolished. The, the young daughter of the president. Oh, the Air Force One is on the airstrip. And it's flying up and it just hits the air. And everything's shaking. And oh, and the flames are coming close to him. I don't think that's possible, but they're out running the flames, the fl the 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 trail of explosion, and everything's blowing up, blowing up. The fire is just blowing up everything as it goes. Everybody's running away, run, 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 run. Now Will Smith's a girlfriend, she sees the fire, and the little boy. Oh my God, she says, "We gotta go." And the dog there. Jumps out. She grabs the do the son. No, she's gra she grabs her, her son. Or it's his son, I don't know. They're running. They're running. And there's a fireball coming towards them. Cars are getting flinged in the air. 
She's running. And it's in the tunnel. There's a tunnel that she's in. She runs. Oh, the dog is just standing there. She's going to in a maintenance building door. Maintenance door. That's locked. And she kicks it open. She gets into the maintenance level. Bobo or whatever the dog. The dog starts running. Jumps on the car. Jumps over another car. And he jumps just in time. Into the doorway. And they both huddle. The the boy. The dog and the the woman. July 3rd now it says. It was July 2nd. Now it's July 3rd. Now the alien, oh, the Statue of Liberty has fallen into the water. Now it shows the RV with the crazy guy that said he was, you know, the biplane flyer. Duster, crop duster. I told you, he's saying, didn't I tell you, didn't I tell you? I was saying, I was saying, he says, Dad, I'm sick, I don't feel good. They pull over. Up. Oh. He throws up. The young boy. The son. We'll be alright. Just leave me alone. And then he looks into the distance. Look at all that, he says. He's looking at trailer parks. Or trailers, maybe, that they're all on the move. Now the Air Force One is flying, and they're safe. And the daughter, the president's daughter, is sleeping, and the president's watching him. Her daughter, uh, his daughter, sleep. The vice president comes into the room. We could have evacuated the cities hours ago. That's the advantage of being a fighter pilot. In the war, we knew what to do. It's not that simple anymore. A lot of people died today. Many didn't have to. The general comes in. Any news on my wife? The helicopter never made it. No radio contact. He said. Oh, Will Smith's uh, girlfriend is alive with the son, and they're in the rubble. What was her name? Tiffany? Oh, I can't remember her name. They said it in the beginning. I'm not good with names. I always forget. Now she walks out of the tunnel, and it's just a wasteland. Cars all flipped over. A wasteland. All the buildings that used to be there are rubble. What happened, mom? What happened, mommy? I don't know, baby. You'll be the first wave in our counterattack. They're all taking. They're showing a map of what uh, they d destroyed them. The two have fighter pilots. You scared? He says, no. They're partner. The air pilot partners. Pay attention. Pay attention. Anything? I want to... I'm anxious to whip E.T.'s ass. You'll get your chance. The, the captain says. Good honey. Dismissed. Let's kick the tires and light the fire, they said. They're all these fighter jet, fighter pilots. Let's bring the bad boy home. Yes, sir. Got your victory dance? You got a cigar. I got it right here. And he... We don't light up till the fat lady sings. Cigar. So then they... He gets on... They both... They both get into, like... Fighter pilots. Into their cockpit. You the man. And then the other guy points at each. They point at each other, and all the fighter planes are going to the air. It's NORAD, General.
All the, the satellites are down. Where are our boys? ETA to a target. Didn't say. There's a bunch of fighter planes. Heading. I shouldn't have left her. Don't worry about it, big man. I'm sure she got out. Or the good reverend would say. Well, we're on this particular commercial mission. I know here today, the Black Knights will emerge victory, victorious. Amen. He's talking about the uh, Reverend. What's he? He did an impression of oh that black, the black Reverend. He tried to civil rights guy. Holy God! He just saw the ship. It's huge. Holy God, he says. Lock and load. Steven is his name? Amram missiles are on. We're locked on. Fire at will. They're firing their missiles. We are red and free. Locked. They're sh shooting. Their missiles. There's a bunch of missiles. They're heading towards the alien ship, the missiles. They're heading, they're heading. Boom, but there's a shield of some sort. They're not getting through. Moving, switching the sidewinders, moving in. There must be like 50 planes. There must be like a hundred fighter jets locking. They're shooting their missiles at it again. Come on, come on, he says, his buddy. There's a shield of some sort that's blocking it. They have a protective shield of some sort. Pull up, pull up. And they all go straight upwards. Pull up, pull up. Oh, the one guy gets killed. His plane flies into the shield and blows up. Oh, all these little ships, millions of these little ships come out of the big ship. Oh, and they just hit each other. Two down. Shows on the monitor. Two. Now they're shooting lasers. Green shit. They're shooting at them. They, there's alien ships fighting the fighter jets. They shoot their... Oh, he just... They got shields too, the, the space alien ship. And they're fighting them, they're fighting them. And they're blowing up. Oh, all kinds of... Uh, there's another F1. F1? Two more down. That's four. Five. Get them out of there, it says. Retreat to fall back positions. Right away, right away. We're going to have to make a run for this one. Let's get them. Watch the deck. They're shooting at them. They're trying to get away. They're not fighting them. They're trying to get away, but the aliens are ships following them. There's only four ships left on the... Get him out of there, the president said. Oh, another one blows up. Oh, another one blows up. Uh, the fighter jet. Lost the satellite. Two on our six. The, uh, Will Smith and his buddy are being followed by the two aliens. Gotta go, gotta go. Mach 2. Almost. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to try something, he says. What are you doing, Jimmy? He's going up. He's closing on you. Situation critical. Put your mask back on. Can't breathe. Jimmy! He's almost getting hit. 
Jimmy just blew up. No, his his partner in flying, his wingman, just got destroyed. Something's coming. I know I missed that part. Oh, all the alien ships are going to the the airstrip where all the all the air fighter jets are, and they're shooting at the the paddock, the air base. And they're destroying the ships that are we're going to get ready to fly. They're just shooting. There's all kinds of these alien ships, and they're just destroying the airbase. And then Will Smith, it's Stephen, I guess his name is. He's he's avoiding this alien. And he's he's in the he's like in Arizona, in the tr these trenches. In Utah or wherever they're. He's flying in within the valley. Oh, low fuel, he says. Oh, and he almost got hit by the cliff. He slipped through, and so did the alien ship flip, 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 slip through. The alien's trying to kill him, but he gets keeps missing. Oh, no. There's a rock piece going to fall, but he just misses him. And they... Uh-oh, he's running at it. Oh, he pulled his... Jet, his his parachute and the parachute actually covered up the alien ship, and then he ejects and the fighter jet hits a wall and the alien ship just misses, and he skims across the ground and the alien ship actually survives. And Will Smith, Stephen, he he ejected from the fighter jet in time. He landed. He 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 landed with his uh next to the alien ship he takes off his helmet and he's feeling all sore he can't he can't he's tired he sees the alien ship sees the alien ship he yells at him that's right that's right takes off his parachute ha ha he says your ship's all banged up who's the man who's the man I don't know what he said there. He's getting on top of the ship. He opens the door. And he sees the alien. And it has tentacles. Oh. Mm, he punches it in the face. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> he grabs his cigar. That's what I call a close encounter. And now his his girlfriend and the dog and his her, her son. They're walking, walking, they, and she sees something. She looks. It's a truck. She opens the truck. He's looking at toys. Oh, keys are on the on the visor. Oh yeah, it starts. Now people are all. Leaving at the RV center. The young boys. The young boy is sick. Everybody's packing up. They're leaving. There's a spaceship heading this way. You better leave too, don't you think? Air Force One now. David's all. It's Air Force One. And he's sick. feeling sick David his father says he's fine he's about to puke he still gets air sick I didn't get to tell, thank you too all I could think of was to get to you there's still love there Love was never a problem. All you need is love, the father says. John Lennon, smart man, shot in the back. Heavy losses they sustained. The general's talking to the president. We must 
a counteroffensive with nuclear bombs. We should, we should, we should, uh, more innocent people. They've taken out NORAD. It's gone. NORAD's gone. Oh my God, the general says. The vice president. The joint chiefs. Oh, it wasn't the vice president. Who is she? We must launch nuclear weapons. Kill them and us at the same time. You are a guest here, David, he's saying. Don't even think about it. He can't be allowed. Get him out of here. Don't tell him to shut up. You'd be all dead if he wasn't for David. Nothing made, did this to, event, to prevent this. Don't give me unprepared. Uh, in the 50s, you had that spaceship. The thing that you found. What was that? Roswell, New Mexico. You have the spaceship. It's locked up in a bunker. David, Area 51, right? You knew then, but you did nothing. <laughs> and the president says, sir, regardless of what you've heard in the tabloids, there's never been any spacecraft. And the there's no Area 51. There's no recovered spaceship. Mr. President, the advisor says, that's not entirely accurate. And the general looks at him, and the president looks at him. And then David looks at him. What? What are you talking about? Okay, and then it shows Will Smith's wife, Steve's wife, driving the truck with a bunch of people on there. And she's, she's like saving a bunch of people while she drives. There's a woman that's on a stretcher, and then these guys are, are still alive. And she's driving. And everything's destroyed. But there's a pathway, I guess, an old road. She's driving like a huge truck. It's like a huge pickup, not a huge pickup truck, like it's a construction, huge construction truck. No, she sees somebody. She's looking for survivors. Oh, it's the vice president's wife. Oh, no, the president's wife, sorry. She's okay. The president's wife. She's, she's hurt pretty badly. And Steve, he's supposed to be my weekend off, and he's walking in the desert with his with the alien. He's pulling the he's in it like a salt flat, and he's dragging the alien with him. What's that smell? He says, I'm, and he kicks he kicks the alien a bunch of times. Could have been at a barbecue. I ain't mad. Now he sees a bunch of things in the distance. And he's dragging the alien. He sees a bunch of RVs. They're all coming his way. There's a bunch of RVs. And he's dragging the alien. And he's waving at them. Hey, hey. And the, the RV, he's pulling the plane, the biplane, the guy with the biplane. He's pulling the RV with the biplane in the back. And the motorbike, the son's motorbike in the front. Need a lift, soldier? I saw a base not too far from here. It ain't on the map. Trust me, it's there. Secret military installation. Code name Area 51, Nevada. The, the Air Force One is going over to Area 51. Then they land. They're landing. And the president's going over there. They open up a huge hangar. General, president. Welcome to Area 51. 24 floors beneath the surface. Main research facility. It's a clean, clean room. 
Open the door. No, you gotta clean. Yes, sir. It's a clean room, but there are they haven't done procedure. So he opens the door. The president is not happy of not, not knowing about Area 51. You can tell. The general, David, the uh, vice president. I guess not the vice president. She, my God. Why wasn't I tell, told this? Two words. Plausible deniability. So they're all working, these scientists. And they're all covered in white suits. Where did it, this all come from? How did you fund this? Do you think they spend $20,000 on a hammer, $10,000 on a toilet seat? Dr. Oaken, head of the research department. How do you do, he says. <laughs> Mr. President. Wow, he says. The head of the science division. They don't let us out much. I can understand that, the president says. Well, I like, guess you like to see the big tamale, eh? And then the president's like, okay, and they start walking down the hall a bit. They open up a, they, they open up a door. And there's one of the alien ships there. They have one of the alien ships that they're working on. They're all walking into the room. And they're working on the alien ship and it's sitting there. It's locked down. She's a beaut, ain't she? He says, the scientist says, as you can see by the repairs. You haven't put it together since the late 1960. We know tons about them. The neatest stuff. It only happened in the last few days. We can't duplicate their power. Since they started showing up, all the gizmos turned on. <laughs> Last 24 hours have been really exciting. Exciting, the president says? People are dying out there. I don't think the exciting would be the word to describe it. You guys are hoping to fly this thing, right? You got to repair their de technology. Is there anything useful about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not all that dissimilar from us. Breathe oxygen. Tolerances to heat. That's why they're interested in our planet, probably. Hey, hey. You want to see them? Eh, yeah, the, the scientist says, and they go into another room. This is the vault. We call it the freak show. Some of us call it the freak show. He 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 has scans open the door, and there's three aliens in water with oxygen bubbles. Some have limbs missing. When we found them, they were wearing biomechanical suits. But once we got them off, we learned a great deal about their anatomy. Eyes, ears, vocal cords. Uh, they communicate in some other great way. Extra century perception of some sort. So the president says, it's an organic life form. Can they be killed? Their bodies are just as frail as us. Two of them died in the crash. This other one a few weeks later. We just need to get through their technology. I'm sorry to say. 
far more advanced. David, you unlock part of their technology. You could. I stumbled into their signal. I don't know how much what I would be. Tell them how much what you discovered so far, the president said. We'll see how smart you are, that we hope you are. What code, he says, <laughs> the scientist said. So now the RVs are all driving to the secret base on the salt flat. And the security guard guys are looking. They're like, see all the vehicles. It's like, what the heck? And there's a pickup truck with uh, Steve there. United States Marine Corps, Steve. This is a restricted area. You can't get in without clearance. Come here. You want to see my clearance? He has an alien. Maybe I just leave this here with you. Let him pass. Get the hell out of the way, he says. And then the RV comes through. Did you see that? And then the scientist comes out. And they're bringing in the live three hours. Get them in. They're at the area 51. You knew about this place. It deemed classified. We should have warned us. You costed the lives of um, um, uh, lots of Americans. The president comes in. All the information comes directly into this room. NATO was the first one that was taken out. Our forces, fifth down to 15%. Worldwide destruction of every major city in the next 36 hours. We're being exterminated. The president says, Mr. President. Oh, Stephen Hiller meets the president. Well done. Where is it now? Isolated in the containment. I want to go see it. The live alien. He is, the president says, I want to see it. General, I'm anxious to get the back to El Toro. Haven't anybody told you? El Toro has been completely destroyed. That's where his girlfriend was. And his son... Or her son, I guess it was, but he loves the boy, probably. She's sad for a bit. And then they show that truck driving with the people in it, with his, Steve Stevens' girlfriend. And she gets out of the car and she sees just nothing. Welcome to El Toro. Something El Toro. And the the base. The, the base is destroyed. The El Toro base. And she's on a fence. And she's like. Has her eyes closed. And then the survivors are talking. This should last us a while. Stay still. Is that your son? He's my angel. Was it his father stationed here? It wasn't his father. I was hoping he wanted the job. Talking to the president's wife. What do you do for a living? I'm a dancer. Steve's ballet? No. Exotic. Oh. Uh, that's that's Steve's girlfriend. Sorry. Don't worry. I don't be It's a, it's a good job. My baby's worth it. 
I want you to meet the first lady. The son comes over. I wanted you to meet the first lady. She says, hi, hi. I don't know. I didn't know. Didn't think you would recognize me. I didn't want to say anything. Okay, back to the scientist room. Weapons all on. Get the biomechanical suit off. They're working up. They're working on the alien. They're cutting him open. Very gently. They're cutting. They're cutting. It's like blue liquid. Gentle, gentle. Oh, and it opens up and ha oh, suddenly and everybody gets freaked out. Okay, okay. Let's proceed. The real icky part. He's cutting into the membrane. This is one smelly and disgusting alien, I assume. Oh, his finger moves. And now he op cuts open and there's an alien. Doesn't look alive, right? Does it? His arm's moving. The arm is moving. And then, oh, they're using brain waves and the scientist's brain is getting all like, he's get, feeling all like a headache. Everything gets, everything's coming apart and he pulls himself away. And the alien gets out of his chair because he was, he was strapped down, but he breaks away. They all start running and the alien going to kill a guy he's trying to open the door he goes and he kills one of the scientists then the door opens to the vault the guys come in the president and the general with a bunch of people and they just see smoke it's like a viewing room Dr. Orkin. No, no. No response. He's it's all cloudy. It's all cloudy. He's looking at the window, the president at the the window. And it's cloud. Oh, and the doctor gets pushed up against the wall. Release me. No, no, wait. Open the door. No, no, wait. He has the tentacles around Orkin's neck. And then the alien jumps down. Release me, he says. But it's the alien controlling the doctor. Now, he says. The president looks... I know there's much we can learn together if we have a truce. We can have a way to co coexist. C can there be a peace between us? No peace. There will be no peace, the alien says. What is What is it that you want us to do? Died, the alien says, using the doctor as a voice. Oh, the president, die, die. The president is feeling something. The president is falling to the ground. His head is hurting. His head is hurting. Is that gall bullet? Bu got got bullet? It's a window bulletproof. They start shooting through the the thing and shoot it. Shooting the alien because it's not bulletproof. The window. You shot a bunch of, put a bunch of bullets in him, into the alien. Now they pull. They see if the doctor's still alive. I saw his thoughts. I saw what they're planning to do. That's what the president's saying. They're moving from planet to planet. 
a civilization after you have consumed all the natural resources and we're next boom he th the guy shoots a bullet into the aliens head and the aliens now dead nuke them, the president says let's n nuke the bastards Then he walks away. Okay, now the fridge is being opened. There's no ice. Oh, it's, it's David. Just my luck, there's no ice, he says. I take it you heard? The ex-wife? To the end of the world. He, we haven't come to the decision lightly. We don't have a choice. You still be I believe in it. You left me for him. For your career. It's not just my career. It's of my best opportunity of my life. I wanted in my life to make a difference. And, uh, and I wasn't ambitious enough for you. You could have done whatever you wanted. Research. Don't, haven't you ever been, wanted to be part of something special? The woman says. I was part of something special, David says. If it makes any difference, I didn't stop loving you, the woman says. That wasn't enough, was it, David said. And then she looks at him and then walks away. Uh, he's drinking some alcohol okay now back to Steve he's sitting there dejected he thinks his girlfriend and it, the girlfriend's son is dead there's movement so he's like looking up he gets up and heads toward the helicopter he gets under the gets to the helicopter he gets in the helicopter and the guy's stopping him what the hell are you doing Get out of there. He has a gun with to him. I'm just borrowing the helicopter. No, you're not. You going to shoot me? Just tell him I hit you. Now he's flying the helicopter. Oh, now there's some stealth bombers. Squadron. Waiting instruction. Head to target. There's like three, five stealth bombers. Sir, they're breaking formation. Mr. President, we're initiating sequence. Which city to reach first? Austin, Texas. Houston. Major cities have been deserted. Casualty should be low. Houston, University of Houston sign and South Houston. This is neighborhood watch. We're in position. Tracking monitors are locked in. Visual recon. He pulls down a, like a submarine thing. Houston ground surveillance. They have confirmation. Launch code confirmed. 689 or something like that. So the stealth bomber. There's one. Laser targeting. Locked on. We're locked on sir. Do you wish to deploy? If you wish to de deploy, the time is now, the president, uh, the general says to the president, the president's thinking about it. Mr. President, deploy, he's, he says deploy. Here we go, he says. The bomb, nuclear bomb is out and ready and flying towards the building. Visual confirmation of the vis missile approaching. May our children forgive us. Three, two, one. Boom. Huge light. It's a hit, they say. Lock it down. 
Can we confirm that the target was destroyed? Alpha 9 or 2, whatever. Can you read? You're breaking up. We got a visual. We're, we're waiting for confirmation. So the guys in the down below, system reboot, the guys, there's a, there's a ship, there's a vehicle that's trying to, we have visual. We need visual confirmation. Has the target been destroyed? There's like a vehicle on the streets trying to get visual confirmation. Guess what? No damage done. The ship is still there. Negative. Target remains. I repeat. Target remains. Call the other planes back, the president says. We shouldn't just give up on this. The president says, we, I said call him back. The general look. Abort, general, general says. Abort codes right away. Full abort. Oh, now back to the president's wife and Steve's girlfriend. They're at night. She looks up in the sky and she sees stuff. She sees a helicopter. And it's roaming around with a, a headlamp and it's landing. And it's, it's Jasmine. It, it's, it's Steve, but it's Jasmine is the girl. His girlfriend, oh, we find, they find each other. What are the odds of that? And the vice president's, uh, the president's wife is there. And they hug and they kiss. You're late. You know I like to make an entrance, that Stephen says. They kiss, they embrace and kiss. Jasmine is her name. And the president, now they show the president with the daughter. Your wife is resting comfortably. Oh, there she is. The little girl runs over. Your wife is bleeding internally. If we got to her earlier, we can't stop the bleeding. There's nothing we can do for her. Didn't know where you were, the, the daughter says. The president comes in. He got bigger, I think. You just keep growing. <laughs> she says, I can't. The daughter has to go away. Wait outside a little bit. I thought that was the vice president. I'm sorry I didn't come home when you asked me to. The vice president's the president's wife. That's okay, the president says. The doctors think that you're you think you're gonna be okay. She smiles. Liar. <laughs> the, his wife says, liar. He, they embrace. Their faces are mushed together. The president leaves the room and there's a bunch of doctors. He's sad. And his daughter is sitting there. The daughter grabs his, his hand. They just sit there. Is mommy sleeping now? Yeah. 
Yeah, mommy's sleeping. They hug. She, he grabs her, his daughter. They hug. She must be dead. The president's wife just died. July 4th now. There. Are, who is it? It's uh, David's father is in the room. In an empty room. And David comes in the room throwing stuff. And he's drunk. They, they, he's mad because they they blew up the with nuclear bombs. He's against nuclear use of nuclear bombs. He says he's destroying the world. Basically. Don't do this to yourself. Everyone loses faith some, at some point. Even myself. I haven't spoken to God since your mother died. That's uh, David's father saying. Sometimes. We've got to remember what we still have. Like what David says. You still have your health, the father says. David, Aiden, you need your rest. Freezing before you catch a cold. Oh, and then David just realizes something. What'd you say? What are you talking about, faith? No, no, no. The other part. I don't want you to catch a cold. He's getting an idea, David. Oh, duh. What's the matter with you? Genius. Genius, the father says. Total genius. Wake up. We've got... Get everybody down here right away. We've got work to do. They're all down there by the ship now. The little... Okay, David's clear the platform. Puts a can of coke there. You got a pistol? You got a gun? And they see that coke can on the alien craft? Can you shoot it? Sir, go ahead, shoot it. Boom, there's the alien shield. My fault. The coke can, protected by the shield. We can't break their, we know that. We can't break their, we can't beat their defenses. We have to get around them. One more time, anytime. Oh, this time the pop can gets hit by the bullet. The shield is down. How did you do that? The general says. I gave it a cold. I gave it a virus. Computer virus. Are you telling me you can send out a signal? This disabled all their shield? We can use their own signal against them. Plant a virus to the mothership and filter down to the other corresponding ships below. I don't understand. How do we affect the mother ship? If, 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 effect. We're going to. We'll have to. Fly the alien ship. And dock with them. We upload the virus. We set up a, some kind of explosion. We'll display it. Disorient the smaller ships. Take him out. Do your stuff. This is ridiculous. How long will their shields be down? Matter of minutes. We want a massive international for a minute. We don't have the manpower. We don't have the resources. We can't. This whole idea is Nobody can fly this shit ship. Steve says I wouldn't say that. 
I've seen this thing in action. I've seen their move, move capabilities. General, I'd like to have the opportunity to try. Crash landed in the 50s. This doesn't work anymore. This ship. Remove the clamps. Mmm. You move the clamps and it's now hovering. And they're all amazed. Okay. Any questions, uh, David says? Let's do it, the president says. He gives a little nod and walks out. You heard the president, let's go. Virus, David's father says. Your idea. That's right, David says to his father. You really think you can fly this? David says to Steve. Do you think you can do all that bullshit you just said? And they're both looking, ah, I don't know if I can do it. They're saying to them, to themselves probably. Ooh. I know you're upset with the death of your w wife, but don't make, you're making ex ex you're making a, 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 a mistake. Mr. You're fired. The pre the Secretary of State is fired. Organize all the planes we can and get some pilots to fly him. He can't do this, but he just did. Iraqi desert. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, some old Morse code. They're getting code from. Is it Iraqis? It's from the Americans. They want to organize a counter offensive. It's about bloody at a time. What do they? going to do the English English army and then bring down the shields claim they, they claim that they can bring down the shields when do they want us to attack the French no I don't know what this is Jap Chinese or Japanese Jap Japan Middle East Asia Europe, Middle East, and Asia. Morse code. Sufficient airplanes for the, for the plan, but we don't have enough pilots. They're watching the TV. They don't have enough manpower. Anybody with flight appearance uh, uh, experience, and the guy, the the drunk guy that drives the biplane, he says, "I can fly. I'm a pilot," and he's drinking at the same time. Now they're talking to a bunch of pilots. The jets that you piloted before, they're no good. And his son gives him a coffee. The drunk guy. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. He's trying to get. He's trying to sober up. What's your flight experience? He says to the biplane guy. He says, yeah, me? The biplane guy. Nom. Crop dusting. Doing doing that ever since. On a personal note. Ever since I've been kid kidnapped by aliens 10 years ago, I want some payback. I want you, I won't let you down. And he gives a thumbs up. One tactical, one nuclear bomb. It 
won't detonate on impact. You get 30 seconds to get your ass out of there. Steve and the David on the alien ship has a nuclear bomb. Strongest transmitter they can get. They put it on there. 30 seconds. Isn't that cutting it close? We'll be well away our way home. Why you? David, why you? I don't understand. Why can't you choose somebody else to do it? No, no. I have to think quickly. You know how I'm trying to recycle? Here's my chance. I don't know what that what he said there, but now he gets ambitious. It's too tight. The uh, Jasmine is putting on a, a dress, talking to her son. How do I look? And she gives a little. Uh, what do you call that when you? Okay, he puts on his his boyfriend Stephen is putting on his thing. His jacket. He says, I'm sorry. I should have done this a long time ago. And they're at the church. The military base's church. And they're getting married. Witnesses. And then David and David's ex-wife comes in. Let's get the show on the road. Dearly beloved. In the sight of God. President, pres, in the presence of these witnesses, we joining these man and woman in holy matrimony. Whatever else. And then, David's still wearing his wedding ring. His ex-wife says, "Sees it. Do you, do Steve, do you take your wife?" They look at each other, David and David's ex-wife, and they start. She touches his wedding ring and they start holding hands. And she, he says, I will. <laughs> and he breathes out. Okay, they're married, basically. That's the end of that. Now they're getting set for the onslaught. They all get ready. Salute the general. The president. They're all young. That they are, he says. Okay, the president's going to make a speech. They look nervous. Ready flight crew designated pilot your your airplane. Okay, the president's gonna make a speech. Good morning. In less than an hour. Aircraft from here will join for others in the around the world. You will be launching the, the greatest offense of mankind mankind that that word should have new meaning we can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore we'll be united in our common interest today is the 4th of July you will once again be fighting for our freedom not from the tyranny or persecution from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will, will never be known as American holiday anymore. One day, we will not go quietly into, quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. I missed up a little bit of that. They're all cheering and saluting. And they're all clapping. And they're whooping it up. And the general looks at them with a smile. And they're all clapping and clapping. It's nighttime. Let's go, the president says. A 
He's going to fly? The president's going to fly a ship. Mr. President, I want to know what you're doing. I'm a combat pilot. I belong in the air. The president's going to fly a ship. A ship. A, a plane. Okay, back to the alien ship that they have, they're going to use. He's his stepson, he's hugging his stepson now. Steve. And he has vomit bags. Oh, David. His father is giving the vomit bags to his David. Just in case. Where's, where's? He gives him something. Oh, a Bible and a, a, a what do you call those things? Those Jewish, Jewish, uh, I'm very proud of you, David. Father says. Ex-wife says, "You be careful, okay?" And hugs David. It's time. One of the scientists says. Oh, they were hugging, Stephen. I love you, I love you. They say I love you. Okay. David and Stephen are... Wait, damn. Stephen needs cigars. Oh, David's father has two cigars. You are a lifesaver. Almost put a hex on the whole damn thing, he said. He needs a cigar for later when they... For victory. And they are getting into the, sh they're closing the blast door, or the, yeah, everybody's leaving the room. He opened up his computer. Good morning, Dave. The computer says, okay, the fighter planes, they're getting ready on their fighter planes. The drunk guy has a picture of his kids. He, pr pr he, he said missile launch, and then he's like, oh no, and he hit another button. He says, I, I have a hell of a day of quitting drinking, I guess. And he s salutes his kids that are waiting. And everybody's moving. Cigar. Victory dance. Not till the fat lady sings. Okay, he says. David says, okay. This is important. Fat lady, I got you. Open the launch tunnel. And they open up. They open up and then you can see the blue sky. Or the moon. And they disengage the ship and he's flying it. Is it shaky? Make sure your the tray tray table is in upright lock position. They put blast she, um, things. He moves forward. Whoa, he went backwards by accident. Oops. Oops, David said. What, what do you mean, oops? He put it, he put it upside down, the forward and reverse. Let's try that one again, eh? Yes, yes. Without the oops, David said. That away. Whoa, and he goes shooting out. Ah! Whoa. I got to get me one of these, he says, Stephen. And he flies out and does a twirl. Whoa, 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 what's that? Don't do that. Just trying to get a feel for this old girl. Look. And they're flying up, they're flying up. They're all getting ready on their... The president's getting ready in, her, in his fighter plane. They're headed right for Area 51. The alien ships. Still with me? David? What was I thinking, David says. Woo and he's out in space. Oh, you wanted to be a NASA astro astronaut, remember? 
at the beginning. Now he gets to be out in space. I've been tr waiting for this my whole life, he says. Steven. Now they're way in the out in space, and they're heading for the mother ship. Head straight for. He's. Well. No automatic pilot. They're bringing us in. Automatic pilot. When were you gonna tell me that? Oops, David says. Steve. We got to work on our communication. So it's now autopilot. The little ship to the mothership. Now there's a huge, all kinds of fighter pilots heading towards one of the, the ships that are closer to earth. We have visual. Do not engage until we confirm the package has been delivered. Oh, they're all moving. They're slowly moving to area one. 51. What's going to happen when it gets here? The facility is buried in the mountain. What about the people outside? And then the guy looks, gets on the phone. We got incoming. Okay, now the ship going to the mother sh ship, the small fighter ship. Alien ship is heading to the mother ship. And they're heading toward a little opening. It's a little triangle. Slowly, slowly. Now they're inside the sh well, just about inside. Now they're inside. The mothership. They're looking around. They see like, like the architecture inside. Oh my God, David says. David says. It's a huge, huge inside. And there's like these pillars, the organic pillars, and they're like, I guess, little hubs. And they're dropped, they're flying by them. There's like these like, like, like sections that are coming down. Now they're heading over to a section that, that looks like a triangle, upside down triangle. Must be thousands of them, millions. What are they doing? They're, they're preparing. It looks like they're in preparing for an invasion. The ship's slowly coming in. It's coming to this triangle, upside down triangle, and it's there's a opening. And it's coming in, and there's a there's a main command. It looks like. And there's an alien inside there. He's working it. I don't like this. This is stupid. They can see us. Oh. Power windows. They shut the windows. He can see it. They can see them. But they shut the windows. And now they get clamped onto a section there. Okay. They're clamped on. And they're getting negotiating with host. He's working on his computer. Online. We're in, he says, David said. Now he's punching a bunch of keys. Uploading virus. And there's a loading, loading. So they're uploading the virus. Eagle one, the package is being delivered. They all get it. They're getting there. Getting ready. They all Turn left for some reason. Left. Only what they're getting. There are people on the up on the surface of the area one fifty one. 
they're trying to get them into the lower level so they when they sh blow them up they, so they won't get killed all we can do now is pray davis said upload complete the general says it's a go it's a go they shoot the ship a uh, missile this is it the general says Come on, come on, come on, the president says. It's getting closer, the, the ship. Oh, there's still shields up. The shield is still up. It's ineffective, disengage. They're disengaging. Hold on, command, he says. I want another shot at it. I, I tell you to disengage. He shoots another missile. And you're looking, the general's looking, they're all looking at the screens. Boom! This time it hits! And they all, it's a hit! Fire at will, fire at will! They're all cheering. Alright. Eagle 6 and 7, 5, lock, lock. Fox too, whatever. They're all shooting their, sh sh their, uh, and it's their, it, all their missiles are hitting the ship this time. Oh, now the alien fighter, evasive maneuvers. The alien fighter ships are fighting now. All right, Mr. President, here we go. The drunk guy is saying, "Oh, they're blowing up. The alien ships are being blown up." Okay, back to Davis. Job's done. We, we can go home. He's trying to... They can't disengage. Steven can't disengage. We're st stuck. It's not responding. They can't disengage. The alien sees this. The main control alien. He's looking at him. And he... He looks at him. And they're like, come on, come on, come on. Now the aliens are shooting at the RV, all the RVs that are on the surface. Oh, the RVs and the vehicles are blowing up. They're trying to get everybody out, off, out of the surface in, in the underground bunker. They're getting inside. Get inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're all running inside. They're all running in. They're shutting the elevator door. Oh, he's wondering. The alien is wondering. And opens the door. They're overriding the system. The aliens are. Shit, he says. Hide. So they all get out of their seats and they're... They can't disengage. Davis and Steven can't disengage the... Yamaka. That's what it's called. Yamaka that Davis gave his father before he left. Now he's speaking Jewish, like uh, Hebrew. Speaking Hebrew to the praying. They're all fighting. And they're shooting missiles at the larger space. Sorry about that. I don't know how much we missed. Of the, we are running out of battery power and it turned off. So I'm just going to start where I, so I don't know if I missed a lot of parts because I don't know, maybe it turned off earlier. Okay. Okay, let's play. It's right near the end. They're just, they're shooting, they're, they're fighting. They're preparing to fire their primary re weapon. They're opening up the huge blast weapon. They're, they're everywhere. Bandits on her tail. Oh, a fighter jet just got blown up. Weapons check. Out of time. You got to disable it now. They're opening up. In range. Got a lock. And they're shooting at the... 
They shot a missile at the opening of the big... Oh, it just hit the side. Negative impact. Just hit the side of the thing. Out of missiles. Somebody else is on it, and he blew up. He, the guy that was, was on it just got blown up. There's no more missiles. All missiles have been fired. Get your ass out of there. Get as far away as you can. Does anybody have any missiles left? Sorry I'm late, Mr. President. It's the guy that's drunk guy. That's the biplane duster guy. Armed and ready, sir. Locked. Who is that guy? Identify yourself. Russell. I told you I wouldn't let you down. Keep those guys off me for a few more seconds, okay? Flanking position. Look after this guy. All right, boys. Give some cover to Mr. K. Mr. whatever. Let's plow the road or something like that. Then they're shooting, shooting, shooting. We'll draw him off and then it'll be all yours. And he's com coming through and he's like, I got tone locked on. It says on. And he shoots it. Dis malfunction. Launch failure. Missile fail. Missile armed. Launch failure. It's jammed. It won't fire. His son is there. They're shutting the huge weapon that they blow to blow up cities. They're shutting it. And he looks at a photo of his kids. Two boys and a girl. Do me a favor. Tell my children I love them very much. And his son is there. He overhears it. All right, you alien assholes. In my words of my generation, up yours. And he flies his ship. His dad, he's there. Dad, what are you doing? And the 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 missile, the weapon is starting to charge up, and he's flying right up into it, and it shoots down a little bit of energy. The alien, and he's hello, boys. I'm back. The guy that was too loud, and he blows up the middle of the alien ship, and it blows up. The whole missile, the whole weapons area is blown up and it starts to, it starts to cascade into all positions. The whole ship is blown up. You did it. The son of a bitch did it. And they're all like, yes. All right. And they all fly away. They're all flying away and the ship is Blowing up, it's just like the whole thing blowing up. And they're all cheering. The sun is not cheering. What your father did was very brave, one of the guys is saying. You should be proud of him. I am, the sun says. And the ship blows up. The alien ship is into the mountain, side of a mountain. Now we know how to take him out, General. Spread the word. They're all cheering. Tell every all the squadrons around the world. Tell them how to bring those son of a bitches down. And then they uh, get on the Morse code, because they are using Morse code to to, to communicate because the satellites are down. Which doesn't make sense. But anyways. Now they're at the alien ship with Steve and David. What do you think Steve says to David? What? They're thinking. And he gets his cigar. And they're looking at each other. He grabs, they're both grabbing their cigars. Steve. 
I thought these things like these would kill me. Cigars. So they're lighting it up. They're light. Steve lights David's. And then Steve lights his own cigar. Been a pleasure, Steve says to David. There's only one thing left to do. The Okay, ready, he says. David said, Steve says, y yes, sir. So he punches, uh, Davis punches his thing, execute. Now they're on their chair and they're waving to the alien. Hey, hey, because the windows are automatically open. Nothing but love for you. Lock. 30 seconds. Does he have any clue what's going to happen to him? Not a chance in hell, they said. Oh, virus. They show a virus on the com their computer and they shoot the missile, the nuclear missile, right at the controller, the alien controller guy. And it goes right through him and sticks into... Oh, he re it's released. 30 seconds. Forget about the fat lady. You're obsessed with the fat lady. Get, let's get out of here, he says. Davis, David says to Steve, whoa, they're chasing us. You think? They're, they're flying away and they're, they're sh trying to shoot at him. We're not hit. We're not hit. There, there's three of them. 24, 23 seconds. Tunnel, tunnel. Exit, exit. Where do you think I'm going? Oh, they're flying, they're flying away, and there's three ships trying to kill them, trying to shoot them down. They're going back and forth, missing, missing. Oh, they're shutting the door. They're closing up on them. Shut up, shut up, Dave, Steve says. Must go faster. That's Anyways, that's from another movie. And he's like, ah, he's yelling, he's yelling. And... Boom! He just fits through. And the thing shuts, and then the alien ships that were following get, flies into the closed area. Elvis has left the building, he says. And then David says, I love you, man. And then the missile, the nuclear missile that's sitting there, hasn't blown up yet. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ba boom! The whole. Mother's ship is blown to bitsies. Uh-oh. And they're getting in the wash. The aftershock. Whoa, the aftershock is killing them. Now, we're back on Earth. And the ship's... The, the alien ship is wreckage is on the ground. And all the other fighter... The president is being saluted and cheered and then in Africa they show kids in Africa oh the ship in Africa is being destroyed in the Muslim country or Egypt the the mother ship is down in uh, Australia I think yep Australia is down and they're all clapping for the president yay yay they're all saying Okay, and there's the president's or the president's daughter. They hug. <laughs> and then the general salutes the president. We got him beat. What about our two delivery boys? And then the ex wife and the. We lost contact. 20 minutes ago. The, the two wife, the ex-wife and the wife. Hold on a sec. We got something on radar. And then these two ships on the salt flats. They're all, the the ex-wife, the newly married wife and his father. They see him. They're standing there. They're walking across the, the, the desert. Salt flats. 
and they're all happy. And then they, they come together. Uh, what's her name? Jasmine? And the ex-wife hugs David and, and kisses David. And the president's there. And they salute. Good job, the president said. Well done, Captain. And they shake hands, the general and Stephen. And then uh, the president and David talk. Not bad. They give a handshake. Thank you, Mr. President, David says. Not too bad at all. This is, he's smoking a cigar and he goes, "This is is this this is healthy? I can get used to it." He says. And the president hugs his daughter again, picks up his daughter, and uh, Steve picks up his stepson, and they look at the wreckage of the the alien ship. Happy Fourth of July, Daddy. And he says, thank you, Munchkin. Did I promise you fireworks? The, the Steve says to his, his stepson. And he says, yeah. And then the shot of the, the blue sky and all this streams of metal, I guess, from the mothership blowing up. All the pieces are in the atmosphere. And it fades to black and it goes to... The credits, okay. The comp the battery died down. So I don't know if I missed this spot or so. Hope I didn't. Okay, I'll have to check that out. But that's the movie. Okay, yeah. What can I say? It's, it's a good movie. It's one of the great, one of the hit movies of when it was out. Okay. That's that. I'm going to double check and look at... Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, okay. Signing off. Remember, live your life and see what happens. Okay. Later.